Rock and roll McDonald's. Yeah, I can see you there, Manu. Sneaking into chat before I've even started. Hi Dave. You can always give them something early. I'm gonna get going because not gonna to stream too long today anyway. So there we are, level 97 we were at. So what I did do after God knows how long ago when I played this last. I did go and beat some people up in PvP and I managed to get myself one of these. Proof of defeating another world's master. So I, I basically invaded somebody and beat the shit out of them. So now I can speak to this little guy. You don't want to find me. Do you see blood? We want blood. Yes, why else would you be here? The yes. If you will need blood. Oh, lots of it. Undead blood. Like the <laughs> one. Give them a good fisting. It's not as easy as you think. Oh. <laughs> what do you say? Join the Brotherhood of Blood? Yeah, let's do it. Good old-fashioned murder covenant sounds best for Beth. 
That can hardly be the whole story. I also recognise this guy's voice, but I don't know where from. You, you want to be drenched in blood. Mired in its foul stench. Am I right? wonder who it is. Oh, just say that I'm right. Huh? <laughs> it was Titchy Gren. Who voiced Titchy Gren? Con O'Neill. Oh, it's him. Right, I know who this is now. It's the guy who plays Victor in Chernobyl. Like the old guy, the huh? Three runcheons, not too good, not too bad. It's that guy. So I knew I recognised this voice from somewhere. Another servant of blood is born. You will serve well. I just know you will. Right. So now we have the crest of blood. Where is it gone? Here. Ring of the Blood Brotherhood of Blood Covenant. Ring is nothing special, except in the end the oath is but a widow in the ambitions of the oath taker. So the, the ring doesn't really do anything special, it looks like. Ah, well. But we have joined the Blood Covenant and we can duel people now. Let's see if anybody will fight us. It is unlikely, but we shall try before we start going back to the poison zone. No. No, apparently not. Rubbish. Right, let's go and punch some stuff, shall we? We have Poison Land to go to. So, we had cleared out everything around here, so we had the boss door to go through. I think it's a boss door anyway, so... Yeah, we were here. <gasps> it's okay, Manu, take your time. So there's that paramount up there that we still can't get to. Because it's like up on the balcony up there. So. These guys are like near impossible to stagger. Eh. Big boy punch is high true. Oh, this idiot's poisoned himself. Dead. See if I can get this guy to do the same. Bet I can. Yep. What a mess there. And the guy down the bottom has done it. Oh. 
Bye. It's the one down the bottom's gonna die any second. Yeah. Ah, I'm alright, Trua. We had a, a nice fun little Discord stream earlier watching Bart go to the shops. Oh! That sounds like a great excuse, Dave. Oh no, Aaron's confused me. We should get takeout now. Not that I think Katie will take much convincing for it. <laughs> right, so... I believe this is a boss door. If it is, it is one of the dumbest bosses because he's dead easy. But I'm going to let him hit me because there's a special attack he does that I want you to see. Here he is. So this guy is slow as fuck. He just sort of swipes at you. He rolls over. And that's about all he does. But he does have a special attack. I'm going to see if I can get him to do it. Just because... Nobody ever gets to see it, and it's actually a pretty cool idea. Come on. Eat me. Let's punch him a couple more times. Oh yeah, there is something else you can do in this room as well. Right, are you going to eat me or not? No. Come on, you dick. He doesn't even want to do the cool move now either. He's just going to splat around everywhere and trap me in a corner. So yeah, see those pots up there? You can actually knock those down as well. I'll see if I can get one. There. It drops a little guy out. And the boss will actually eat this guy, if I remember correctly. Come on. Look, I brought you a snack. There you go. Now, if he does that to me... Yeah, when he eats, he sort of goes... He got me, right? So he eats me now and spits me out. And I have no gear on. He unequips everything when he eats you. So now you have to run round and re-equip it all while dodging the boss. It's like the coolest thing of this boss and you hardly ever get to see it because he's not a hard boss fight. I did not know that true, but I'm going to see that every time I hear the name now. And yeah, a very simple boss. He just has that one cool move. There we go. Covetous Demon is defeated. knock the rest of them down. Oh, I'm going to miss that one, Anna. Can I get it? I don't think the throwing knives got high enough. Oh, they do. Just. Ah, 
and we get a bonfire. So now we got some souls. And here's big soul. See if we can't get a level. I don't think we've got enough, but. Oh yeah, I need to re-equip my flame and stuff, didn't I? Seeing as he uh ate us. There we go. Right. Don't think I've got enough for a level, but I'll go and have a look. I might be able to scoff some souls for it. Because it's all going on damage now. We've got the dodge we wanted, we've got a bit of health and stuff, so we can just pile it all in damage. Oh, do you sell chunks and stuff yet? No. <laughs> Obviously giving you like a left office box or something. Sounds like a great thing, true. get one level. Let's get... Tell you what, I'll put my health up to 15 and then we'll get more strength and stuff. Does Moglin have anything else to sell? I'm going to end up doing this after almost every boss. Ah, uh, so it's like a... Uh, a mix and match of new strains and stuff, is it? Sounds pretty cool. Are you sure? <laughs> well, it has like an official product tester or something. That'd be a pretty cool job, to be honest. That is death down there. And these are filled with poison. Right, where are we going? Listen carefully. No worries, Dave. Ambush ahead, look up. Beware of enemy, beware of chest. Sounds like mimics. Whoa, there's the ambush. It's one of the weird assassin things. Ah, they're not too much trouble, and he's poisoned himself. What is it with these guys and poisoning themselves? They just lumber through everything. Yeah, you need some of that free time to yourself. Radiant life gem. Right, so you raise and lower that thing. Winner. Yeah, I can't wait to see you next stream, Jura. The new place as well. Oh, I've got these on me. Right, so all that thing did was raise and lower this. Oh well. Archers. Good thing I have crazy pyromancy. 
Boom. Ah, so you get some fancy decorations as well. Yeah, the main thing I am missing at the moment is lighting. I need to get some decent lighting and then I'm sorted. Otherwise, it's all good. No, am I missing anything? In no. I think you got Ayrton in through the other door. Oh, a sun and a sorry. Devotee Scarlet. So now we have you. this jump doing? I don't think that jump is makeable but I'm going to try it anyway. 100% doing a 24 hour stream on the 29th. Nice. Yeah I am going to be doing um, like a birthday stream because my birthday is the 28th. So I'm going to do like a mess about stream on the 27th seeing as I have that day off and then on the 28th I'm going to be playing Super Seducer because why not we'll do like Twitch plays Super Seducer and then we have you on the 29th it's a fully stacked weekend yeah the punching is going really well like the actual weapons these Cestus or Cestus, whatever you say, are way better than I thought they would be. Like, they don't do as much damage as other weapons I've used in this game, but like, they are usable and the amount of stagger and stuff they do, and the fact that they're really good against armoured enemies. Like, you can see, I staggered those with each punch so I've just got them stun locked yeah super seducer will be cringe as fuck right I remember one thing about this place and that's that I need to break the windmill so we get hi sherry it goes this need to burn this there to ruin this guy's windmill right so we have a ledge over there that I can't get to from here. And then we had a bit leading down. <laughs> nothing this way. Let's go down then in this direction or is this going to be the mimic? <laughs> assassin hiding behind the box right that's quite cool oh have you been doing the uh, chess puzzles and stuff yeah, this is my uh, my Cestus and Pyromancy build. So, punch everything. If not, throw fire at it. Right, so there wasn't anything special down here. So it's up we go then. Let's 
still don't know how to get over there. Got a fog door and we got more assassins. Cheeky busts. You're slowly building your chess rating, is it? And then we got you outside. There's bound to be more assassins around here, isn't there? And there's a whole other area over there that I've not been to. Mannequin mask. What are you? Mask of the mannequins, a fickle queen gave them life and tore off their faces. How else she, could she forgive those who dared gaze upon her? That looks cool. And there he is behind me. So these are mannequins. So we've got ladder. We've got stairs I came up. And we have a door. <laughs> um. This place is way bigger than I expected. Wow! wow. Right, what's up this way? We have. Wait. Here, another one behind me. Punch him out of his leaping attack, that'll do. So we've got this way, which looks like a trap. <laughs> you have to add it to the uh, the to do list, truer. The only thing I don't like about this place is the poison pots everywhere. And I have like... Oh! Yep. Yeah. You got me. Poison pots everywhere and I have barely any anti-poisons left. I gave my ass handed to me there. Oh, can't wait to see those. And now I am ugly Beth. Do I have any effigies? Yes. Yeah, I do. So we've got all this to go through again now. Got you hiding over there. Oh, you can actually see him hiding behind the chest. Cool. So we got you. That guy who's poisoned himself, so we'll just die. You can get got with Paramancy. There you go, Sherry, my favourite Paramancy spell in this entire game. Boom. Fucker poisoned me. Oh yeah, he unequipped my bolts as well, didn't he? And my rings. I forgot. The boss unequips everything. So, Floranthi, steel protection blades and stone uh, Div Gen was lurking a bit earlier he might be asleep Boop, 
Yeah, paramancy is one of my favourite things in these games. So I, uh, I always have some pyromancy. Ooh, what's he dropped? Is it something good? No, just some armour. I actually quite like Dark Souls too. It is probably bottom of the series, but it's not like a. It's not actually a bad game. I did not, Trua. What have you been like? Oh, have you been refunding people points or something when he's not been looking? Yeah, Dark Souls 2 is like... It is the bottom of the series, but it's not a bad game. The only mechanic in this game I really don't like is the... The health reduction when you hollow out. But... To be honest, you get enough of these human effigies that it's not really a problem. Plus this game introduced power stancing, which is definitely something they should have kept in Dark Souls 3. Like just being able to use two of any weapon type and dual wield with them, rather than having to have two of the same weapon. Like in this game you can pick up, say, any two kinds of curved swords and use them paired. Yeah, it is. HP reduction while hollows is lore friendly. And the more you die, the lower it goes, but it is also a pain in the ass pretty much being gone. If you get stuck on a boss, the boss gets harder mechanics wise because you're having to do it with less health each time. See, he just poisons himself every time. Oh, he didn't that time. Like this area I'm, I'm in as well, features a big chunk of the DLC in Dark Souls 3. Like when you go to the DLC is called the Ringed City, and the opening of the Ringed City is actually this area. So you get to see all the uh, the windmills and stuff again. Why is it not letting me target him now? There. Didn't want to do that. There. Back into power stance. Yeah, I'm going to talk a bit more about the, the lore of this one later on. Like the area we're in at the moment is pretty much fucked. It's always this way. Because it was basically like a cursed area. Find out why it's cursed later on. But they tried to fix the curse, screwed up and basically just poisoned everything. There. Like we've already met the king of this area who is the covetous demon. That's what happened to that guy. He got so greedy and ended up becoming like a 
he's not technically a demon because he's not chaos flame made but uh he's nicknamed or he's he's named the covetous demon because oh look he's hiding up there on the rafter i wonder if i can get him And there's another one up there. I wonder if I can get you with the trap as well. Oh, it only goes off once. But yeah, this game has a lot to do with the queens as well as the kings. Because the queens play a big part in this one. That was another one jumping down, I heard it. Where is ya? Oh, you're just climbing down. So the queen here is called... So, short version of Dark Souls 1 Truer. Uh, everything used to be stale, nothing changed, everything was immortal. But the only living things were dragons and things called pygmies. And then something called the first flame appeared. And when that appeared, everything changed. So you had like gods appearing. You had um, the gods went to war with the dragons and killed almost all of them off. That kind of thing. Um, however, the first flame started fading. And some dude called Gwyn thought it was a good idea. Who was the king of the gods. Gwyn thought it was a good idea to... Link himself with the first flame. To try and make it last longer. And sort of burnt himself out in the process however so when you join you're part of basically like a prophecy that you're also going to link the first flame and the canon, canon ending of Dark Souls 1 is you go and fight all the the lords to prove yourself you get access to the first flame, you find a hollowed out Gwyn there who's basically just insane. You beat the shit out of him and then you link the first flame as well to keep it going longer. Because without the first flame everything goes dark. You end up with the undead and hollowing and everything happening. It's all inferred to be because of the dark that that's happening. Dark Souls 2, you turn out and find out that not only did Gwyn link the first flame and the character from Dark Souls 1 link the first flame, but people have been doing it repeatedly for ages because the first flame keeps fading, so they have to basically keep refreshing it. And this is what you're doing now. Was basically you're finding out that yeah sure you can link the first flame but it's only a temporary measure you're gonna have to keep doing it to keep the dark at bay ah poisoned Yeah. So Dark Souls 1 is you can embrace the darkness and see what happens and you basically get like a a hint from this guy that like you could become the king of darkness basically or the lord of darkness however you want to pull it or you can link the first flame have life and prosperity but 
it's only temporary. Ah, two hidden walls. So that's like the dilemma you get. On fire. And Dark Souls 2, you find out, yeah, you can link the first frame. Have life and prosperity, but it does not last long. And there's also a whole, a whole plot in this one of... There is a rumour that there is a cure to the undead curse as well. That there's a cure for hollowing. And people have come to this area we're in to try and find it. Right. Is this one a mimic? I think it is. I'm sure you can I sure I saw it breathe. Come on. Breathe. I know you're a mimic. Let's bonk it. Knew it. Let's see if I can get him to poison himself. Come on. Yeah. Eh, <laughs> to that stupid mimic. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Dark gauntlets and a work hook. I think I've already got the dark gauntlets. Gauntlets of a knight subsumed by dark. No one knows the true identity of these men who are said to freely manipulate dark. Old foreign legends describe them as poor souls who chased the lost art of life drain. And then we got the work hook, which is... Yeah. Hook that covers the hand. It's a pirate hook. Not a work hook, it's a pirate hook. Right, so... Captain Hook. You're wearing armour, Beth. It's just magic armour that's, like, see-through. It is also really, really good armour. It also really, really light, so we can, like, be really dodgy all the time. Is also one of the reasons I'm wearing it. Because you can just run and dodge everything. Right, so we're up here. Which is where we were looking before. This is the bit with the two statues. So we still have that fog door down there to go through. And this quite obvious boss door. So, let's have a look at the fog door down here. Sherry has been off hiding and studying and earning his keep. Right, so we've got this bit through here and we still have the fog door down. This looks like a trap. Like, this looks like a really obvious trap. Yep. Flame butterfly. I've already got the two that were supposed to be behind. See if I can't get this bit with. Bitch, I've got Paramancy 2. And you're immune to it. But I've also got crossbow. Yeah, she's been using Flame Swathe as well. So... What do we have here? Oh, am I going to have to like... Look at these guys. These guys are begging for a flame swathe. I crossbow you. Like, you can't get through. So yes, I can. How do I get in there? It's going to be a way up or something, isn't there? Or a jump? Nah, I can't jump high enough. So... Let's 
walk across the helicopter blades, shall we? Or not. Where's this? This is apparently somewhere else I can go. Ah, so we've got an elevator. We've got an enemy down there. Let's have a look at the elevator first. So we have... Steps going down. A corridor this way. How do we set off the elevator? Is there a switch or something? Not here. I can't see any switch or anything for the elevator. Although I think that's how I get up to that chest. So let's go this way. Alloy ahead, right. Yeah, see if I can get a sneaky backstab on this guy first. No. But I can stagger him just fine, so bugger it. Alloy ahead. Liar ahead. Weakness plunging attack. <gasps> it is you! Yeah, you tried to trap me last time, you bastard. <laughs> this is exactly what he said last time. Right, bugger it. Does not open from this side. Well, I don't quite like right, um We've got this way, and this way. What's up this way? Oh, it's this bit. We're on the other side of the wind. The uh, helicopter blades. So we've got her. Can get crossbowed. Are you doing any more concerts or anything else at the moment, Sherry? <gasps> Trap. And a ferrous lock stone. That will come in handy. So this just leads back this way. So what's in the other direction? Uh, just... And an assassin. Or a mannequin, I should say. So we've got... Drops. And a jump. Uh, jumps always make me nervous, because... I am not great at aiming them. You can get staggered, though. Right. Gimme. Ah. What a trap. <laughs> right, that's a long way to go. So it's back beyond the boss door. <laughs> I got caught by a trap. This place is basically like a poison sense fortress. Right, so we can ignore those guys. 
we've got an assassin and a paramancer to deal with here. Leave him there. Let's take you out, shall we, bitch? I would not mind getting one of the fans off them, because that's like a pyromancy weapon. Well, that's you taken care of. So now we go back this way and across the obvious trap bit. Gonna be some guys jumping in here. My stagger is proving is doing me well in this place. So it's this way we were going. I'm trying to use my own pyromancy spells against me. And then we had the guys in here who we could see but they couldn't get us. Oh, they just jumped off. Didn't do that last time, did they? There. So it was... They'll have fallen down here now, won't they? There you is. So this is the way we didn't go. No, no, it's truer. She'll see you later. I've not done rat council yet. So down there was Creighton. But I've done the big rat, I've not done the council. Up here was the other pyromancer. She's dropped something, is it a fan? Nope. Yeah, I think the rat council will be next after this place. No, I am just making my way through this area, slowly. I've got the final boss to do here. But I did the the covetous demon, the big slug guy. And got to show off his special attack. Right, what's this? Now I've managed to make my way across to it. Solar Brave Warrior and Crimson Water. So it's not even a good. Like, not even good treasure. Unless he means that bit down there. And fall we go. Yeah, he means the bit on the other side of the door, doesn't he? And I don't have any effigies left, I don't think. Nope. Right, so we will get those souls back. Because that was a decent amount of souls. Um, yeah, they've got bleed on their attacks. And bleed in this one is just like a big damage proc when it's full. Curb. Yeah, that bar that was filling up then is bleed, and it's just like a big damage bump when it hits. 
wonder if I can see them out here. Oh, you can, just as they drop in. I'm going to get poisoned, Anna. I don't think I have any things left, so I'll just have to let it run out. Unless... no. Oh, another one. Mannequin claws! What do you look like? And can you be power stance with... There's the poison. Ah, oh, bugger it, I've lost those souls now. I should have paid attention to the poison. I was too busy looking at the fancy new weapon. Fancy new weapon. <laughs> the peculiar art of puppetry is a vestige of the lo two lost lands. The queen, entranced by poison, used it to beckon unknowing souls to the defiled valley. So yeah, this used to be the Harvest Valley, it is now the Defiled Valley. But you can be power stance with the Cestus. And then we've got and a combo do you have? And then heavy is that. I'll be alright if I get another one of those claws, I might spec some of those out as well. Wrong way. So Ignore you, get the Paramancer Woman. Oh, he's dropped a second Malform Claw. Cool. So these we have two of now. Ah, uh, not yet, Dave. Gonna wait a bit before I can do a Shoryuken. It is a DLC weapon that lets me do that. Oh, I tried to knock him off. Right, so now we've got this one. A mannequin knife. Oh, it's just a little knife. Um, So we have to drop down this bit, because that's apparently how this bit works. But, I know you're here now. Yeah, I will be using that, that fist weapon as soon as I get to it, Dave. Just because it's so cool. Right. So that's you. Now we need to do this way. Kill this dude. Go. No. It's the spell I'm using, you're not allowed to use that. So there's the dragon charm. 
And then... Oh yeah, there's another one, isn't there? Quick, give health. Magic pixel there. And I wanted to go off here, because this is the other side of where I think he was. So that's the door to Creighton. And he said there's treasure along here. What treasure is this? Great heavy so Oh, that's a good spell. Some doors you can, but not many of them, unfortunately. Hi, Manu. Do I look like I survived, you dick? Really? Now, what misunderstanding could have ever led to that? The poor bloke must have quite an imagination. You be careful too, my friend. Right, so... We've been... This way and this way. Need to go. Hi, Deepro. How is things? Oh, oh friend! Oh, oh friend! friend. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Please, please, my friend! Please, please, my friend! Oh, friend! Oh, friend. <laughs> right. Now we got... This area. Oh, yeah. This is how we get out to this bit. Now I remember. Is Philip or is he an angry one? You're an angry one, you're not Philip, you can die. So, we have... Simpleton Spice. And then if I go this way... Actual friend. Call me an Egypt. <laughs> Simpleton spice. You want to climb down here? Yes. Oh, I can lend you that. Okay. But, uh, how much can you offer me? Why, yep. Yeah. I'm trying to have you no gratitude. I let you. There we go. 2,000 souls for a ladder. Just a moment. <laughs> Poor Manu. So that was what was on your roll earlier, Manu. It wasn't sim it wasn't cinnamon, it was simpleton. It was a simpleton roll. Right, what does he sell? We've got reinforced club. We've got a whip. We've got actual claws. We've got thief set. Bleed knives. A what? Small ornamental ladder. Quaint little thing, but only if your ornament doesn't seem to have any particular function and should not be worth much, but is sold under the exorbitant price. Right, let's buy a couple of things from him, shall we? Because... First of all, I want some claws. There's this monster lady, right? Do 
and I think that only human women were so petty. That creature. In fact, for her husband, the princess has opened. Yeah, so they're just talking about the prince and the princess there. So now I have claws as well. Yeah. Can Wolverine it. So I might do up those claws at some point. So let's see. Was there anything else on the inside bit before I go down the ladder? There was not. There's this shortcut maybe? Shortcut. Now let's see where his ladder goes to. Bam, 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 bam. Slide. We've just got a fancy item. Actually nothing down here, but Twinkling Titanite and a Ferrous Lockstone are both pretty good. I will take them. So where else do we have to go? Oh yeah, there's still dudes here, aren't there? Oops. Oh, don't tell me that is just a bonfire. <sighs> it is just a bonfire. Oh well. And it just gives you easy access to both sides of that as well. Typical threat. So... Back the other way we go. Because now we're going to go and fight a boss. So we go... Oh yeah. What activates this? How do I turn this elevator on? There's got to be a way somewhere. Yeah, it's like a shortcut one. So... How do we make elevator go? Any hidden walls in here? No. Something just fell down and died. There's got to be a way to make this go up, I just don't know where. You? What do you do? You are. So if I stay on this, this will go up and take me to the chest up here. Winner! Mirror shield. And then... In true Dark Souls fashion, there should be a secret underneath as well. Because Dark Souls. Or do I need to pull this again? Secret underneath, secret, secret underneath. Large solar prayer, night and divine blessing. So, that's that solved. It's just the boss now, I think. So. Way back to the boss is not this way. I forget. Oh, yeah, it's just the way we've come, isn't it? I'm being dumb. So, 
We can go down here to this bonfire. Got two lock stones. Got you. Oh yeah, we've got souls in here. I can buy the little ornament off Gilligan. Uh, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need shields, don't need that. Or them. There's all my pyromancies. Right. Um, so let's head out and see. Gilligan and buy his little toy off him. Because I'm sure it's important somehow. Oh, he's gone. Never mind then. Let's go in. Peak. Is it this one that's right next to the boss? Because this is the hidden bonfire. Yeah, it is. It's this one. So, shortcut to the boss. There we go. His weapons freaking out. So they can freak out over there for a while because boss door's here. Now weakness fire. Okay then. Give it a go. We have Mitha the baneful queen. She's got spells. So do I. Our oh, fighters, all right. Too bad I've only got two of those. And she could grapple attack. Not very nice of her. And a big stab. So yeah, Paramancy actually does all right against her. So I may swap it for a uh, tune spells, something that has more uses. Because even though you do a fair bit, you're more of like a room clear thing. So we'll go for great fireball, shall we? You can see the dark sign starting to appear on my character's shoulder as well now. The more that you die. Bye. Get the pyro ready. Boom. of great fireball uses. Time to punch. Yeah. 
get wrecked. Oh, she's stunned. Get her. Yeah, the worst thing about this fight, I think, is the poison. Oh, these guys are coming in now. You know what? Pug her off. Yeah, that fight wasn't too bad, to be honest. And we got plenty of souls from it. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Pointless. Why? So yeah, I'm pretty sure we got everything in that area, so... Let's see where this goes, shall we? I got two of the ugly claw things as well now, as well as the actual metal claws. So, we go up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and we have a room. Skeleton! No, poor skeleton. Iron Keep. I remember this place fondly. This bridge used to be like the PvP bridge. And hey look, somebody spotted me. But you can bugger off. It's bonfire. Bye. So, I have box, Smithers, Soul, that Soul. So look, we have even more hand weapons now. We've got two claws, two malformed claws. And we've got one mannequin claw. So we've got, let's see what these look like. So, regular claws. Like Wolverine claws. Still have the same moves as the Cestus. Yeah, pretty much. But I bet these do bleed or something, don't they? Yep, claws inflict deep wounds and cause bleeding. And then we've got the malformed claws, the crab claws. Check these out. Okay, these are quite cool. So, we might level those up at some point. So, what are we going to bet we get? Um, what do you have? We've still only got those. Um, I don't think I picked up any upgrades. No. Like, they're new weapons, so they do... Oh, I did pick up some, uh, some clean titanite though. Let's put you up to three. And then. Is Gilligan here? He is. Hello, Gilligan. Let's see if Moglin's got any new armor. Buy ladders off Gilligan, so that's what we'll do. So he sells the little toy, which nobody knows what it does. So we'll buy all of these ladders. Seeing as we have enough. Mm. 
This man was not for sale. The only thing is I sell are miniatures. I mean, if that tickles your fancy, you can buy as many, many. How about 3,500? So we'll skip that because it's the same cut scene again. And then this ladder. And now we'll buy a miniature off him just because. So he gave us a sword. So he gave us a sword. He gave us this. Scimitar of Ladersmith Gilligan. Nothing notable about this weapon about apart from except perhaps the luxurious jewels embedded in the hilt. If your aim is to appear dazzling on the battlefield, this might just do the trick. It does look quite cool. But yeah, it's just a scimitar, nothing special. But he has set up all the ladders for us. So at some point we'll be going down into this hole. But first, no, I'm not going to kill him. I can't kill our token Irishman. It would just not be fair. Well, I do what I do every time I have spare souls. Into the woolly hole. So. Keep you you two to can go in there you can go in there I don't have any armor or anything um, swap you back for the big explosion no in fact we're going into iron keep aren't we swap you for sweatiness to resist fire Oh, does the pyromancy lady have anything new? I'm glad to see you well. Um, nah, not really, but she does sell fire resist stuff. And I don't have any seeds. Right, let's go punch some fire things, shall we? Iron keep. There is going to be one of these streams before I do the DLC and stuff, which is going to be like a clear up stream, which will just be going around using the rest of the fragrant branches and the um, the Ferris lock stones and stuff. So I've got flash sweat. I am not sure how effective flash sweat is on the lava, so I'm going to try it. That should give me a ton of fire resist. It does fuck all when it comes to that lava. Oh well. It helped a little bit. So that's the jumping puzzle stuff, which I don't think there's really a reward for. Oh no, there's an item over there. And we've got this dude. Which, thanks to the power of fists, he's wearing full armour and he's therefore weak to my fists. But yeah, this is the PvP zone as well. Like, whenever people are doing jewels in this game, 
it's on here. So we have steps down. We have more steps down. Is there anything down here? We've got lava. Oh, <gasps> Dennis. Dennis in here. No, no spell casts for you. Look at him. Trying to taunt us. No, no spell casts. There. <laughs> and we got a human effigy cool there yeah but I would not call Adam posh in any sense of the word Adam may as well be from Bury. Another one. Come on. So these guys have a massive aggro range, apparently. Whoa! Where did that attack come from? Archer. Now I'm just saying Adam doesn't have a posh accent at all. <laughs> oh, friend. Magarold. Ooh. So this guy can boost uses, it looks like. And he sells the Jester armor. Curse ring. Thank you, I will take the effigy. Oh, he sells the carvings. You've got Fragrant Branch. And you've got a few spells. Hi Brendan. How goes? Right, let's go and get beaten up. Do our head in short overwhelming. Liar ahead. What? You are the liar. Hurrah for revenge. And a ferrous lock stone. Please have water in. What do we got? What do we got? Hmm. <laughs> Scary sub alarm. I wonder. Yes. Now, can I shoot? <laughs> right. Shoot this guy in the back, shall we? <laughs> oh, more of them out here.
it is message does this just lead back down to yeah it does yeah this place is going to be fun so what do we have out here We've got a black archer. Screw you. Can I reach you with my crossbow? I don't think so. Oh. Leave me alone. Two of them, bastards and archers. This can be interesting. Right, three of them. Everybody and their friend is showing up to this fight. Ooh, we got the weeb weapon as well. Steel katana. Right. We've still got one guy outside. We've still got the archer. Yeah, you. An archer over there. Did the other one fall off or something, or did he jump down or what? He's just gone. Yeah, this place can be a pain. Uh, archer over there. Big boy over there. Got ladder down and I have never been to Hull and I will endeavour never to go there ever. Right. Archer up here. Let's get him. This life ring plus one and twinkling titanites raises the maximum HP. Yeah, not bothered about that. We've got a knight there on the other side of the furnace. <laughs> Got a door. It's gonna explode, isn't it? Well, it's gonna try to. That bridge worked well. Oh, another knight. So we've got another two guys over there. And at least one more on the left. Right, let's go right first then. Oop. More than a couple. Oh, I forgot I did not have my big boom spell attached. Now I'm dead. Yeah. 
Hi Greg. You have caught me in the best of areas. Everybody loves this place. I mean everybody. Right, so the punch isn't too bad, I just need to actually land it. Oh, another dark spirit. Right then. No, I'm not going to fight you both at the same time. Not unless I have to. Wow, oh, she could a whip. Or is that a whip sword? It's a whip sword. Now I want a whip sword. Press, Press four, four to learn more about, about the martial art of dad, dad jokes, jokes with a token dilf drop base. base. Thank you for the gifts of Manu. Drifting us up to Greg. No worries, Manu. Get the rest if you need it. Have a nice sleep. Right. So now they all come sprinting because these guys have like a sixth sense for where you are. See? Boom, 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 boom. A lawn knight. Ooh, there are lawn knights. A lawn is cool. He's like a badass samurai knight. Right, any more for any more this way? No. It's you. I'm just going to have to try baiting them all out. See how well that works. So there's the archer. Just watch for the other one come running on my left. Oh, if I stay here, the archer can't see me. There. So it's almost got a full set of armor as well. So get the archer here. And his buddy. And then we've got this archer over here. He dropped the gun. What? That was a lot of health. Oops.
So we have three on the right and at least two on the left. Tell you what, I'm going to go off this first. See what's here. So your fire and stuff, your that. The knight's down the bottom. Is he going to suicide run to us? No, he's not. He's just going off there. So that means that drop leads to where he was. And we have this big door to open. Is that a door? Oh no, that switched off the fire inside. Cool. Don't go off this. And we have this to pull. Does that drop the other side of the bridge? It does. And there is a chest down there that I can't get to at the moment, I don't think. So what's in here? Titanite shard and a dragon bone. This leads over here. And we've got a ladder going. Oh yeah, there was a guy up here, wasn't there? Another archer. Dead. Radiant life giant, green blossom. <laughs> yeah, disgusting damage. So we'll not go that way just yet. Thing is, I've not even maxed out my damage stats yet as well. They're still on like... 30. And I can get them up to 50 to max them out. So now we've got the other way. So this we've got left and right to fight things. And the guy right ahead of us. So can I cross Whoop, another one. Another two. Now these guys are all coming straight for us. The real test will be the the next immediate boss. Because I remember how many tries this take, boss usually takes. But need help, please. So we've got this archer here. All of the guys up there dropped down. Cool. Get him. Give me them souls back. And now we have this jump here to this. Other jump down the. I need to go down, Dorna. This way. And back round. Need to jump down to the bit. Over there, because I want to see what they are. And if I remember, right, there's the water stuff up top as well, which will come in useful. So we're going to jump across here. I 
I always try and do those at an angle if I can, just in case I go too far this way and end up rolling off the end. So off we got in here. Up to the roof. And we've got chest. Which has the Zweihander. And this should give us water if I remember right. Yeah. So, inventory, what do we have? Old Radiant Life Gem will stick you in for the latter part of the boss fight. Your bleed resist, you're useful useless at this point. So roll around in some water. Let's go and fight the big fire boss. I might do quite well against this guy because he's basically a walking suit of armour. Got my fire resist spell on. Let's go. Helps if I actually lock on. Oh yeah, that fire resistance is working well. Hi, Bart. Nicely done, Bear. How many? Dozens have you got left to do? Ooh, need to get out of the way. Oh, he got me. So close. I got caught in the corner at the wrong time. But he shouldn't be too bad to get to now. Yeah, I just janked at the end in the corner. See, look, he doesn't come this time. But his mate does. I do not understand how these guys detect me. Oh, yeah. See, look, he detected me this time and he normally doesn't. another one here. There. So that's you dealt with. Now we have the archer and friends out here. So wait for the other ones to come along and down the bottom.
feel that one literally comes from the other side of the like the area. He just sort of sees me and comes running all this way. And another one. I can see you all the way in the distance. Watch as your frame rate gets better as you get closer. It's the weirdest thing about this engine. Like, I know it's like a memory saving thing, but like stuff in the distance has a terrible frame rate. this one out. So we got one on the left and one on the right. jump then. The pixels saved me. I'll roll around in the water a bit. I wonder if it actually shows my uh, fire resist any really better. Fire defense? No. the sweaty spell. Make sure I'm in power stance. No. There we go. this moment to grab my souls. Right, nobody tell Biv it only took me two tries. Flash sweat helped a lot. Like his explosion did almost nothing to me. Sign shield. That shield looks so fun. Piggy shield. Mm. 
then just what we wanted bonfire and 74k souls nice so we'll put you in there put you in there you in there you in there Yeah, Fume Knight is my favourite fight. Four sets of gauntlets, two legs, ring that I won't be using. Let's head back to Majula and get more levels and stuff. So first, let's see her. Do you sell more rocks yet? No, you don't. Um, I did get some Twinkling Titanite, I'm sure. Yeah, I got one. Not enough to upgrade my armor. So levels it is then. So level up. level those guys up equally, seeing as they both affect my damage quite a bit. Yeah, these fully upgraded fists, the scaling on them is A for strength and A for dex. So, I'm just pumping both of those for now. Um, we'll have more of those please, and like one of those. Um, now we are actually going to go back to that boss room because there should be a new fight there now as well if I remember correctly um, what was I going to quit? oh yeah I need my throwing knives back so if we go back to Iron Hearth Hall is where we were we can see an old friend again just need to go back this way hey look who it is it's almost like he's pursuing us or something Staggered. That was actually the wrong way then. You should always go to the right of him. Right. Punch, 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 punch. Sewer is nothing nowadays. What's he giving us? Ring of Blades plus one. I will take that. Swap increases physical attack to increases even more physical attack. But even more damage. And 7,000 full souls, which isn't quite half bad either. So, get rid of you. No, no secret doors. Got plenty of guys out here, so.
and now we have our old friend the Turtle Knight. Boom. He's just there to break the floor, isn't he? Yeah. Come on. If I go close enough, will you swing again? <laughs> yes, you will. Ah, more room. What does this lever do? Um. Bye. And then we have door. Do I have a lockstone on me? We got two. All right, we will use it then. Please be something good. Hidden wall. Ladder. Oh yeah, I should be making myself human again, shouldn't I? In case of invasions and stuff. Look at all that health I got back as well. So we have more total night, fog door over there. Lots of traps. And a bonfire. Nice. I will take it. And where does this ladder go? <gasps> We're here again. Hello. No, I give no shits about your bell. I'm gonna go and fight people. So we've got... Big crossbows, we've got a summon. Drifter, swordsman, Adol. We've got... Some ballistas. And some spirits. Right, you're going to be a caster, aren't you? Because you're wearing the witch's hood and everything. So, let's lock you down. Rafa Dark Spirit. Now we've got a dude over here with. My old big smashy sword. We got lever. Lever rings the bell. I can't remember what ringing the bell does. If anything. It opened something, I heard it. Just what did it open? Um, I don't know. Do you open anything in, actually in here? Don't look like it. What about in here? Rapid fire crossbows. Try a gesture, therefore, hurrah for light. Eh? Ooh, there's items down here. Gimme, 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 gimme. We got more simpleton spice. 
And then we got all these dudes. Big smashy dude. We shall fight just over this hill so the archers can't get us. Oof. You've dropped me a great shield. Nice. dead body with more simpleton spice and we've got chest ahead, chest left, chest right. <laughs> and this gives us immolation. You sound like pyromancy. Combustion, prison acid surge, flame switch, switch. Pyromancy that creates a coating of flame allowing the caster to incinerate nearby foes. Needless to say, this is a perilous spell that burns the caster while active. Oh, this sounds cool. Right, I'm going to try that next time we get to a bonfire. So, what was that ring? I have purchased Below Zero and it is downloaded. I will be uh, playing it next Tuesday. Triclops Snake Crushes Boost Petrify, petrify I should say. So, uh, yeah, ne next Tuesday. We will be starting below zero. This brings us to... Ooh, ooh, it says there's an illusion. And there is an illusion. Sweet. I was not lied to. And two chests. Black Knight Greatsword. Everybody loves that thing. And... Spirit tree. So we've got Black Knight Glaive Sword. And we've got the Protective Chime. And the Great Spirit Tree Shield. So Shield of the Blue Spirit Tree that is said to possess divine powers appears in the allegory of Quella, God of Dream, and can deflect spells by parrying. We got the Protective Chime, which is for miracles. Sacred Chime, commonly used by Clerics of Lindell. A catalyst for miracles and hexes. And then we've got the Black Knight Greatsword. Greatsword wielded by knights who served a Lord of Light in a long forgotten age. And here is the Black Knight Greatsword, which I don't have the strength to wield. Even. Don't have the stats to wield. Even two handed, apparently. Because I think you need something extra. Oh yeah, this one needs faith and intellect as well, apparently. So. And we have... Bonfire. And a chest. So it's in the chest. Thunder Quartz Ring plus one. You're lightning resist, aren't you? Yes. Right. We are back to a bonfire. We dump a couple of these items. And then I will be right back because I'm going to go and grab drink and nip to the loo and then we will continue through the fire zone. Oh yeah, and we will have a look at immolation as well and see what that does to me. 
So I'll be with you in a second. I will leave you with some lovely Medulla music, seeing as we've got a decent amount of souls.
Hi back. I just got back as well. Four. See if we can't get a level or two. Maybe let's get one. Yeah, deck's up to 34, that'll do. So, here we go. Do what I always do. Buy some more of these. Buy some more of these. So, this was... Belfry Soul Approach. And then... Iron Hearth Hall is the one we needed. Right. So we're just going to fight our way through the rest of this now. Oh yeah, I remembered why these messages are here as well. Before... A scholar of the first sin. This was actually an illusionary wall. Didn't have anything important behind it, I don't think, but. No. Wow. I did spectacularly badly then. Didn't even get the pick up off the enemy. I died. Going human for the invasions. Not that we've seen any other than the NPCs. There, got him. Fifteen seconds. Naughty Beth skiving at work. Let's see if I can't trick this guy into falling again. No, he's coming after me, isn't he? this guy in the lava again, shall we? Bye! So that gives us an archer. What else do we have? Oh yeah, this is the bit with the buttons. So, Turtle Knight. No, nope, rolled too far. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> right, can I? trick this guy into walking into the lava. Looks like a no. He's buggered off, hasn't he? He's just broke the floor and run away. Right. Got 
got this guy who's suicide runs off here. I wonder. Yeah, screw it, we'll still donk him. But what we'll do... No, I did it again. I meant to unlock and roll backwards. Stupid thing. Dead. Yeah, just Twitch being a pain. So I'm already on the other side of the trap, it's fine. So we've got another archer on this side who needs to get dunked. And this ironclad. go for obvious boss door that way ladder ladder going even further up and a chest. Be wary of dark spirit, be wary of shade. I'm gonna get evaded armor. Oliver the Collector. Oop, oh, you're using that weird spear. Right, let's poise you out. Got a cool looking set though. Got like a bull's head. He's fat rolling, so he's going to get screwed. 
there. Human effigy. Right, what's up here? We have another ferrous lockstone. Treasure ahead. Be wary of tears in short, pointless. Hmm. Hmm. it. Oh, water. Fire resist is fine. It is not pointless. Yeah. Oh, there's a third one. Yeah. Well, I've got a ring that helps with it a lot. Like, um... This. Stone ring. Additional reduction of enemy poise. That helps with it so much. Do 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 do. You get that ring right at the start of the game as well. Like the ogre that's in the very, very first area before you even make your characters. You can kill him and he drops that ring. Stay calm. Oh, this is where the famous skeleton bit is. I can finally show it to some of you. Any enemies? So, I'll see that skeleton there. A little guy crawling out of that. That message will say, don't give up skeleton. So, I've got to try and drop on the edge of this thing. See this bit? Yes. Cover to Skull Serpent Ring. Don't give up skeleton. That was like one of the first messages I ever saw in this game. And I've watched a couple of Let's Plays of it and they all put that there. Now we got this dude. Go the wrong way through the fog door. Just because I want this item. Were there any other items over here? I don't think there were. No. A fuck door. Door for fucking. Back. Nah, I've already killed him. He was up there. And now. Ow! Oh yeah, this is the choppy thing. Ironclad leggings. Right, which was it? Where was it? I needed to go in here. So there is a summon. Manhunter O'Hara. Oh. There we go, it was that corner. Up here. Oh, 
all the way up this ladder because you are a liar. Go up here. We've got a bomb of fire. Not only do we have a bomb of fire, we've got a big switch. And some eyes. So you're all looking out at the belfry. So yeah, we're inside like a giant ram's head here. Or a bull's head. But that switch I've just pulled has turned off all the fire. So back to Medulla again, because we've got a shit ton of souls. Hello, lady. Yeah, yeah. Level up. Give me some more of that damage. Thank you. And then let's go and see you. Buy some of those and buy some of those. More damage. And then we are going to sneakily go back here because I've turned that for, turned off all the fire vents. Well, there is an item right at the start you can't get unless you do. So, go this way, fight this guy. There it is, just ahead of us. Um, let's clear these guys out just in case they try and sneak up on us. Kill you. Let's get you. And you. And here we have whatever this item is. Iron key. Eh? Key to the iron door of the iron keep, the old iron king's castle sunk into a lake of fire weighed down by the castle's iron and the burden of the king's conceit. Over the ages the iron was stripped from the castle by opportunic passers by the iron door to must be somewhere far away. Mm. I don't remember where that goes. Seeing as I have not come across any locked doors yet. We'll go back up to the idol. See, look, all the fire is turned off. Makes this so much easier. Oh yeah, this is something you can do with these as well. It is like suicidal when they're turned on. But you can make them spin by punching them. Or just hitting them with a weapon. But look, it's all turned off. So. Lightning short bow plus one. You. Oh, 
wonder where that iron door is then. Can't think of where it would be. Right. Boss time. Let's put some fire resist on just in case. Let's go and meet the king. While I scoff some of the best crisps. This guy was just having a sleep in some lava. So he's got a fire breath. Another fire breath. Fire breath does a decent amount to me actually. Oh yeah, this fight feels familiar. <laughs> it's like fighting ceaseless discharge again. Right, does this flame thing spread out? Right. That didn't even cast then, did it? And he's got a laser beam. Yeah, it does. It spreads out. Where's he going? Where are ya? <sighs> Combo. Yeah, you're not too tough. Uh, punched him in the head. Didn't even know that was possible. Oh, almost got pushed off then. Gotcha. Old Iron King Soul. Yeah, Flash Sweat helped a fair bit. Like, it just deadened all of his fire damage. Petrified something. Yeah, bonus being a Pyromancer. Then we got fine work. We've got Primal Bomb Violet. And then this is the entrance to DLC, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. But we're not going to do this just yet. We're going to go through the main bits of the game.
then do the DLC, then do the final bosses. So I'm guessing this is the iron key. Read message, think carefully. No, apparently not. And here we have the summoning bits, if I remember right. These are like areas where you can drop your summon sign down and get pulled in to help people. Back through here. <laughs> Trespassers will face adversity befitting a monarch. Forbidden is a path to the ancient king's domain. Right. So. Back to Majula. Yeah, I've not had much pro trouble so far because I've been prepared, well, say prepared. I've pretty much known what the bosses were going to be like. And I've had a, like a few ideas for them, like this area where I've just stacked the fire resist. So now she sells large shards. But I think everything I've got is fully upgraded anyway. Well, no, you need chunks, don't you? You need twinkling. So now... Let's see if Gilligan's got anything else to say. No. Shenanigans. saying rats and stuff. Marvin, do you have anything else? Tell me you've got more stuff. Go ahead. Um, he does. I can get the smelter to him and stuff. Cool. Who else can we buy things from? Let's go and see their map maker. Punch is the new meta. Punch everything. Even more little fires lit. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. But there is something. It seems to fulfill something. something He's not saying anything new. I would, it was, yeah, you've said all that before. Nothing new down there. We have... Catwoman. Should probably buy the actual cat ring off you. So we've got... Okay, the voices of folks. Right, we'll buy that by the cat ring. Seth, I'll be around if you um 
and we'll go and see. Oh yeah, should I go and see the dudes who make stuff out of boss souls? See if they can make anything else cool. So we need straight cell. Trade, we got Mythas Bent Blade, Poison Weapon, Smelt the Demon Sword. Bone Scythe from the Covetous Demon. And then spells we've got nothing new. Let's go see what... Where was it? Yeah, she's here, isn't she? Where all the spiders are. Let's see what Orn effects has. First. Swap you out for you, because you're good for dealing with the spiders. Like these dudes. Do as well. So that's one of the mages taken care of. Forlorn? Where are you at? Come on. I was going to try and push him in the pit. Effects, what have you got for me? If you provide a wonder, trade. Um, oh, old Iron King can get me a great big hammer, otherwise, nothing. go then. Should get some levels. Levels please. Get health up to 15. There we go. Items. Some more of those. Pull up on those. Let's buy these then. Right. 
so we've got the big pit to go into. It's all that's really left. And we have multiple ladders to go down. So which one of these is the door? Is it this one? I think you're the one. Yes, you are. Don't know if we can get in the door or not, I don't think so. Might have to be later. No, we can't. It's locked. So, do it the other way. We've got that entrance there. Got another one right down the bottom, which is the one we've not been to. And we've got a few items on the way down to get. So we will grab the smallest ladder first and we will put while I remember, we will put the cat's ring on. There we go. The Radiant Life Gem. Barrow's Lockstone. Next item is this one. So I heal up a bit. And moss and I think this is the rat place we've already been to yeah it is Grave of Saints we've already been here I think or not apparently right, we've got that lit at least so do more items yeah there is there's a door right down the bottom isn't there I wonder if that was just a health thing. Or whether I need to two-stage that. At least we're right here for trying. See, it doesn't look any further than the first drop, so... Oh great, let's try. Right, that did stop me for a second, I just went too far. So, I need to kind of go this way. No, that just kills me. Hmm. What's the ladder that's across from me then? Because it goes a bit further down. Is that the ladder for the door? Is. So what if I was to jump? Yeah, we'll try it that way. So back up to Medulla. <laughs> Hi Neo, how goes?
I am currently trying to work out a jumping puzzle. Trying. So is this the one that goes all the way down? No. Um, yeah, but there's like a two stage I can do for it if I use that one. Because this starts lower down as well. So. So yeah, we normally start up there and we're starting here. And I've got that that I can jump over to, I think. So... Did it. And now I just need to slowly walk off here. Ring of the Evil Eye plus one. That was my messenger, most likely, because I've got desktop sound on still. There we go. Even more items. Now, where does this go? Shiny. We've got this and we've got the Grave of Saints was the other place I was looking at. Ash Knuckle Ring, what are you? Increases petrification resistance. Right. Yeah, I have. There is apparently a way I can separate everything, because I use like the text text to speech thing on my comes from my desktop sound, and there's a way to separate them out. I've just not worked out how to do it yet. Oh no, it's the exploding guys. Oops. Right, so I can punch them before they kill me. No worries. Great heal. Right, there we go. We've got this way with all the blood stains, or this way with a dude with a sword. Let's go after the dude with a sword, shall we? Hello. Alright, he's not so tough. And we have... Here, try trap. You all lied. <gasps> but I did get something that makes my healing better. So now I need to find out what's this way. Try pure luck. We got here, we got ladders, lots of ladders going down. Lots of ladders. Crash. 
There better be something good down here. Radiant life gem. Still a big drop. More ladders. That guy up top would have loved this place. Visions of regret and therefore fleeing ahead. Up is a drop. But what is down here? Got a chest. Chest has token of spite. Anything else? Tunnel. Read message. What was the message? Hurrah for left arm. Visions of regret. In short, good luck. Oh, we're here. Quick break all the statues. This is the pit. Should be statue. Also known as the gutter. Um I need a light source. Careful. It looks like bits of this are made to collapse. Boom. Hey, you're not friendly. Oh, just look at all that trash piled up into a pillar. Right, so where do I go from here? Or is this a trap? Oh no, it's not the way down here. Oop. Wasn't wrong about this bit falling though. This bonfire in this direction. No, thought I was dead for a second then. Climb up and try and get me. Try enemy. Oh, yeah, it's like a jump, isn't it? Is there any way back up that I'm not seeing? Doesn't look like it. Leap of faith time. these. All I want to do is find a bonfire here. I can find a bonfire here or I can go back up and do the other bit. So we've got ladder. Big hole. Doggo.
Oh look, another one of these doors. So it looks like I'm falling down that hole. Nice. I know I can go off there. Which is down the hole anyway, so... Booger it. Is that a dark pyromancy flame? It was. Not that I'm going to use it. And then we have... Doggo. Dead. We shall go to Grave of Saints then and do a bit of exploring there before we go down to this lower bit. So it's... here. Let's see what's this way. We got a sad man. Put him out of his misery. Another one. And skulls in the wall. And a giant skeleton. What's that sound? Rats! Big ass rats. But yeah, I think that's our saint there, that giant skeleton. Large soul of a name of soldier. There's no way into this middle bit. Oh yeah. Do the thing. And we have Ferris Lockstone. I saw you rats down there. So what have we got? Ladder. Rat hole. This which I'm guessing drops that drawbridge. Dude. Small, smooth and silky stone. Right, we'll drop the drawbridge. Seeing as we've got the lock stone to do it. Ding. But we will check this way. Oh, another drawbridge. And a boss door. It's a boss door if I've ever seen one. 
Ewan has a bonfire in front of it. So we'll go back the other way. And explore until dawn. Shoot rats. There is another drawbridge I can drop, I just don't have a ferrous lockstone for it. I can see you in there. Hiding. I wonder. <laughs> oh, it doesn't reach. Come on out then. Well, I can see you. I know you're going to come after me. Just wait for me to pick that up, aren't you? Or not? Wait for me to leave. So I need another Pharaoh's Lockstone to drop the drawbridge here and see what it gives me. Which I don't have at the moment. And we've got the Pharaoh's Lockstone lowered down. So we'll see what that gives us. And maybe if there's a Lockstone across there. And that is just flooded. We have more rats, petrified rats. Sucks to be those guys. And other rats. Whisper of despair and a torch. Hell is whisper of despair. Ah, this is the other drawbridge then. It is a scam drawbridge. So what is whisper of despair? A hex that releases for a boast darkness. The darkness echoes words of despair, reducing the defense of opponents. Dark blankets the world in black, a thing of tranquility, a thing serene. Hi Poro! And thank you for the luck. Right. So it's boss then it looks like. To the boss door. Bim, 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 bim. Oh, I've just remembered which boss this is as well. This is going to be a fun boss to try and punch. Get at least one flame swathe off on them. So this boss is infinite rats. 
So let's drop a flame swathe. I remember right, there's something different about one of the rats we're supposed to be looking for. And he's the actual boss one, but... That is my flame swathe stone. the different rat. Oh, trapped. There he is. Guy with the mohawk. Get here, you. You're still only a rat. Yet fuck. Got him. Friend ahead, and therefore I try composure. It is the king. No, you can bugger off. I don't like you. Try rescue giant. Oh, this is where the big circle thing is, and this is where we get another ferrous lock stone. Boop, 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 boop. Hi, Manu. Did you have a nice nap? Oh, this is leading to where I was earlier. Nice. So. Yep. So the bit I went down earlier just basically skipped a bit. Winner. Now, how do I get across to you? Is it just a fancy jump? Nope. Needs to be another way across to that. But, at least I know where I'm going from here. I am going down to the poison area. Past all these dudes. I will head down there, past all these bloody ladders, and then I think we shall finish for the day, seeing as we are all going to be watching Eurovision in Discord and having some drinks. So you are all welcome to join us, because some of them haven't seen, Dis haven't seen Eurovision before. And it is fun just to watch and make fun of. Even you, Manu. You are always welcome. So... Tunnel... <laughs> the statues that spit at you. So use me one of these fancy butterflies. We're going this way. So bonfire. Bonfire. Where is bonfire? You can go away. You can go away before you spit at me as well. So it's jump. This direction. Missed him. Bonfire's over there.
Bonfire. Go away. Oh, I can't jump up that. Right, back to my jewel up. And then we are done for the day. Put a decent amount of bosses down. A couple more fancy upgrades. Even more damage. So I'll do my obsessive. Dumping stuff in the box. Uh, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. We'll keep all of you too. Oh yeah, we were going to have a look at Immolate, weren't we? So, let's see what this stupid spell does. Because it says it sets me on fire. Right. Yeah, check that out. You run around on fire and burn things nearby. to burn bone dust makes the excess flash stronger and then switch you back to flame swathe see if I can't get a level oh just under um Burn a soul. See, as we got some stashed. You. So we'll grab a strength. You. And this is us done for the day. But, like I said, we're all watching Eurovision today in Discord, so feel free to join us. Otherwise, my next stream will be on Tuesday, slightly later than normal, because um, I am working late that day. But, it is my birthday week, so... <laughs> All right, Dave. Um, I am aiming to do daytime streams on Thursday and Friday next week as well. Thursday is basically just going to be a mess around of us playing various games together. I might do Mario Kart and stuff like that. Do some uh, Gartic Fawn and stuff. And then Friday, we are going to play some Super Seducer. And that will be my birthday stream. But until then, let's find somebody to raid, shall we? See who's online. Who do we know? Poro has literally just gone live. Go and say hello to Poro then, shall we? He was having a little lurk in the stream earlier, so we'll go and say hello to him. So, I will see you nerds later. Go and fun have have some fun watching Poro. See, so he's just chatting for a bit now, and. See you guys next time. Bye bye. I would, but my car. Wait, I would, but my car ran out.